What's up, guys? It's episode six. Today we will be becoming Iron Man, metaphorically, not literally. You're probably asking yourself, why do we have this rail system? Well, it's to lead to the iron farm, and we need villagers for that. But in order to make an iron farm, you have to be about 150 blocks away. So let me break this real quick. And as you can tell, we're right by our villagers. We're going to steal two, and then they have to be two that you haven't traded with. But right now we're going to go run and get some soul sand. We're going to need that for the campfires with... Uh, blue flames because they do twice the damage as a normal campfire that's going to be how we kill the iron golems in our farm with lava obviously we're going to need about 10 of these so let me go grab the material real quick the items that drop from this farm and land on the blue flame from the campfire will not get burnt by the way all right let me craft some sticks it should make 10 perfect okay what else i'm gonna need some hoppers too so let me go ahead and craft some chests I got a feeling I'm not going to have enough iron to make all 10 hoppers, so we're going to have to go steal some from our house real quick. Keep getting asked why I eat so much pumpkin pie on here. I keep training with the villagers, so it's just the most abundant food source I have, but in real life, don't actually eat pumpkin pie on a daily basis. It's probably not the best for you. Let me... All right, now that we got all 10, let's just run across this mountain and show you what the iron farm's looking like so far. I started off camera because I didn't think everybody would want to see. It's a basic farm. I'm gonna put the link in the description for the one I use, but everyone's seen it. It's been done a thousand times, so. And yes, I know you're thinking, I'm gonna come back through here and I'm gonna decorate. I'm gonna make it look better than that, so. All right, we're running up that hill. Has anyone noticed the amount of songs I referenced in my videos yet? All right, let's get this chest put in and then we're gonna Probably work on getting the villagers put in. That's gonna be the longest part, I think, is having to breed and everything. So I'm probably gonna cut to when I'm working on that. But yeah, we're on the home stretch of this. I can't wait to see how efficient it is. So I'll see you on the site. All right, here's our first victim. I mean, villager. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, ask to be a villager you haven't traded with. So lucky him, I guess. Yeah, I just pushed him along the railway. This is sped up because y'all don't want to like know how long this actually took. I ain't gonna lie, this is kind of ironic. I don't have no redstone or gold, and I have a farm, and about to be a farm for two of those things, so, yeah, I have no excuses as to why I'm salvaging my rails and stuff, but, as you can tell, we got that water elevator going, and this, like, maze-like thing, so, yeah, I'm just putting them in here, and it's so hard for me to transport villagers, as you can tell, he does not want to cooperate with anything. He won't even go where I tell him to, so. All right, man, I need you to get up there, please. It's four blocks. I know not everybody likes change, but you just got to deal with it, bro. All right. There we go. Push him up there. Let me salvage all this real quick before I show you the inside of where he'll be staying for the rest of his life. Let me add him back. All right. This is what he's living in. So, you know, a little pod is not bad. But let me block that off and fall out through here. Let's go get our last villager. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. But let's cut to me getting the next victim. Bad news, I trade with the other villagers, so we're gonna have to use a nitwit, and then once they populate, I'm gonna have to merc this guy, so that's the plan, just gonna push him down here. Out of nowhere, he just launches. Mine carts are so buggy in bedrock condition, I swear. I'm on peaceful, by the way, as well, because I do not feel like fighting zombies, but yeah, let's get him in here. Hopefully this farm is super efficient, because I am dying for iron, so let's just set everything up and get him in there. All right, let's push this in. Game plan is get some potatoes going, break that. Here we go, break his cart. Let's get him up here. Now I'm gonna cut to when we have them breeding, so I'll see you in a second. All right, here's a quick little update. Yeah, I got a ton of them. Next time you see me, I'm gonna show you the rates of it. I'm away from all the grow up and stuff, so y'all don't have to wait through all the boring stuff like that. So next time you see it, I'll show you the iron that we get from this farm. All right, the villagers reached adulthood. Here's a little farm right here. Let's check the chest, nothing. Just playing all loose down here. I'll show you real quick, let me close that. It does, you know, good. But next thing we're gonna go and do is go get a brewing stand because I cannot stand to not have one. So see you in a second. All right, this took me a couple hours to find one. Like, no kidding, so let's get this. And I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna start working on some houses next. So I'll see you in a second. All right, what's up, we're back. Let me know what you think of this perspective. Right now I'm just putting the frame out for this house I'm building, it's gonna be two stories, so. Maybe you guys can notice all the little details and all the retries it takes for me to build this stuff, but let's cut forward to when we get a little bit more of this put in. All right, as you can tell, we got the basic framework put in. 
right now I'm just going around. I'm going to grab some supplies real quick, and then we're going to start on the side of the roof. So let's get that started. And if you couldn't tell, I'm going for more of a Nordic-type roof right here. So let me know if you think I should try a texture pack or something, make my world look a little better like that. Because sometimes vanilla Minecraft textures aren't really the best for medieval-type houses, but, I mean, it looks decent, so... And here I go building up the second story. And from now on, I'm going to build one house per video instead of doing one enchanted book per video. So hopefully y'all like that a little better. I'm sorry that it's nighttime. I was just trying to get this build up in a day, so. But y'all probably don't want to hear me ramble on, so I'm going to put on some music and let y'all enjoy this build. I'm feeling high. the house completed so let's go take a quick look all right yeah as you can tell from the outside you know we got that shrubbery a little bit of greenery let's run in here real quick didn't detail anything on the inside yet but i did get some stained glass in so i saw it back down you know as you can tell from the previous uh part of the video i was struggling where i was going to put the lamp post but they turned out good yeah so let's just run in here all right, I want to show you the next thing we're working on. It's going to be our storage room. But before I do that, I don't know why there's a wandering trader in there. You don't want the smoke, I promise. All right, but yeah, we're going to be digging out our storage room over here. Quick little side now. I'm going to put a window in right here. But yeah, let's start digging out a little bit more of this. So I'll see you on a sec. Yeah, just going to be mining through this. I'm going to make sure I don't break none of my redstone on the sides right there. I'm so close to it. It's pretty crappy though. I'm not gonna be able to get the detail of the wall on that side as much as you can tell. So it's just gonna be a flat wall on that side, but I'll figure something out. I'll make it work. And what's up with it raining? Every time it rains, I always get a wandering trader coming in here. It's crazy. But yeah, we about got all this dug out. I can't wait to show you all the recap at the end of the video. This is gonna look amazing. But I'm uh, probably gonna do all the detailing and stuff off camera and just show y'all everything at the end, so. Yeah, let's get all this mined out. Next episode, I'm probably going to work on a nether hub, but I'll see y'all in a sec. I'm going to cut to when I get this finished and just do the end of the video recap, so I'll see y'all in a second. All right, it's that time again. Let's do the end of the video recap. So I finished this, sort of. I still need to put some logs in. Obviously got that window put in, like I was saying. I'm missing leaves right there. That's our composter. That's why we put our potatoes in so we can get more oak trees. You now I've got the storage room you know organized kind of let's run down here let's take the mine cart go back to our iron farm break down through here all right excuse me guys break this boom i want y'all to experience the ride with me see how long and how boring this actually is i'm just playing it's not that boring but yeah let's just go down the underground railroad i guess maybe if they don't lag me out I just noticed I'm going like five blocks per second. This is so slow. Why don't they ever update this? Like, I remember back in the day you could make, like back in Alpha, you could make like little circles and like boost your minecart, but now we're stuck with crappy minecarts. Yeah, I took all the iron out. I just traded with them recently, so. Probably going to AFK here tonight, so. But yeah, let's run back over through here. It might be faster running now that I think about it. It's crazy. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about it so far. Did you like that perspective? Did you like the house building? Like, do you think I should stay with uh, doing one enchantment per video or build on one house per video? There's the back of the gold farm. Someone commented in the last video that that looks like Darth Vader's mask. You know, let's just run through here, cut through the trees, bump my head on every leaf, I swear. But yeah, the world's starting to come together. It's starting to look really, really good. I'm loving it. Next video, I'm either going to build an inn or a tavern next. I don't know. So, call me what you think I should do. I'll do either or. Let's get one quick look at the back of this with that window put in. It makes it look so much better. Well, I need to add leaves, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. 
But yeah, guys, I'll do it for this episode. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace out.